Okay, hi guys, this is Josh Galligan back again for part two of creating a cloud, uh, cloud classroom at DACC. And the second presentation today, that and second project we're going to work on, is how to make your presentation Zoom using Prezi. And uh, Prezi, just, just for spelling purposes, is P-R-E-Z-I dot com. And that is the website that you would need to go to to create Prezi. Um, Prezi is not a software that you download. Although there is a, a, a purchasable software that you can download for your desktop, the free version is available online. And if you wanted to check more out about some of the advanced um, versions of Prezi, you could click on this pricing tab here when you go to Prezi.com. Um, real quick, the objectives for the Prezi lesson, let me show you those. What we plan to do, or I plan to do today, is I'm going to introduce Prezi to you. Um, I'm going to show you how to register for an account and log in. Um, I'm going to use a template or create a new Prezi. I'm going to show you how to zoom in and out. I'm going to help you to understand the interface and what's called the zebra wheel. I'm going to help you to insert a frame and tell you about the difference between a frame and a slide, which is what you would typically call um, a new slide in PowerPoint. And I'm going to show you how to insert shapes, images, YouTube videos, drawings, diagrams, and files. I'm also going to show you how to change colors and fonts. I'm going to show you how to understand paths, and basically the path is how you create your Prezi and go from one frame to the next. I'm also going to show you how to save, exit, and view a Prezi um, in, in full screen as well as in a small version. I'm going to show you how to share with others, and then finally, I'm going to show you how to Prezify your, your PowerPoints. So let's jump right into Prezi. The first part um, is basically just signing up for a, uh, an account. And Prezi is a, is a really unique um, software that is available, as I said, for free online and really takes um, your presentations and makes them pretty cool. Um, some of you had the opportunity to see my uh, Prezi last week for creating a cloud classroom, but I'll just click on it real quick and kind of show you how a Prezi differ differs from a PowerPoint. Okay, um, As you click through each frame it's like almost like it's going from on a bulletin board and just taking a camera and zooming in to to different parts of the bulletin board and so it's just a really unique way to zoom around Prezi as they call it, zooming around um, and, and looking at the different parts of your um, your Prezi or your presentation so that's how it, how it pretty much works um, let's take a quick peek over here at the first screen you're gonna get when you go to Prezi.com it's gonna look like this and you're gonna go ahead and click sign up now and it's going to ask you if you want to do the public version, which is what we all are doing today. And you could also have what's called the enjoy version. Um, it gives you a little bit more space, 500 megabytes of space. Or the pro version, which would give you 2 gigabytes or 2,000 megabytes. And you can see the prices there. Um, if you are a student or a teacher, which we, thank goodness, all are, you can click here on student teacher licenses. And that's what I use. And uh, they'll, have to, they'll have you verify that through um, your DACC email. The nice thing about that is you get that second upgrade here, um, which is 500 megabytes, and that is also free. And if you wanted to go to the Pro, you could do it for $60 a year. So that's just one of the advantages of being a teacher. So once you decide which one you want to do, which I'm assuming you all are probably going to go with this EDU Enjoy um, uh, package, you can click Get. And then they're going to ask you for your email. And obviously, make sure you use your DACC email um, instead of a Google or a Yahoo account because it's going to recognize it as a um, uh, an educational license. I it, it says something here about .edu, but when I signed up, I signed up and with our DACC account. It obviously is a, a .org, and I didn't have any trouble at all. So um, so definitely go that route. Okay. So that's how you're going to want to sign up. <clears throat> Once you sign up. Um, and you have your account, and it'll ask you to, to verify your account through email. Um, you'll go ahead and log in through Prezi.com. And the first screen you're going to get to is going to look something like this as soon as you log in. And this is basically your Prezi's and all your different presentations that you have. And you can see I've made a couple of them. I've got actually a couple pages worth of them now. So I'll go back over to page one. Um, and so that'll be the first page you typically always come to. Um, up here at the top of the screen, 
you have three different tabs you can look at. Your, your Prezi's tab, which is all your presentations. The Learn tab, which um, at the end of this PowerPoint I'll show you a little more, or I'm sorry, uh, at the end of this Prezi I will show you a little more on uh, what this is all about and, how, and you can use this to learn more and if you want to get a little deeper into Prezi after we're done um, as a group. And then the Explore tab, which is really, really cool. There are a ton, millions actually, of Prezi's that you can search and if there's something that is in your content area or something that may be of interest to you, you can typically you know, tape it in up here. I'm going to take a risk here and type football. I don't know if there, there are going to be any for football or not, but yeah, there we go. So I could, these are Prezi's that people put up here. Um, and you can actually tell your Prezi whether or not to be public or not when you create it. But uh, you can share it that way or not share it that way. So that's typically how that works. Now, once you have actually um, logged in here and you want to create a Prezi, you are going to click on, as you would guess, New Prezi. And it's going to ask you for a title. And we'll type, title this one um, Cloud Class Prezi. And if you want to give it a description, you can right here. And then you click New Prezi. It's going to go ahead and log in. Remember, this is a cloud software, so it does have to, it's, you're at the mercy of the speed of your internet. And what you're going to get for the version that we've paid for, which was absolutely nothing, right? Um, you're going to get six basic templates. And um, a couple of you have seen me use this template before for the Cloud Classroom Prezi that we did last week. Um, and you can see there's several other options here for you. Or you can just go right over to this blank Prezi. And for purposes today, I'm going to click the blank Prezi, and then I'm going to go over here and click Start Editing. And that's how you start making your Prezi. First thing you're going to see is just a basic frame right here in the middle. And notice we don't use slides like we used to in PowerPoint. That's the difference between PowerPoint and Prezi. But I have this frame sitting right here. And in a, in a second, I'm going to show you how to start editing this Prezi and making something happen here. Um, before I do that, though, over here on the, the right-hand side, you have a zooming tool, which you can zoom all the way in. And it'll tell you when you get to the end. Can't zoom in more. And you can zoom all the way back out. This will, this will come in handy later once we start making the path to create our show. Um, down here in the bottom right hand corner, if you wanted to see what your Prezi looked like and you want to start presenting, you could click that and it'll take you right into your, your presentation. Um, up here you have an exit button, you have a help menu, which takes you back to that learn area. You could print your Prezi out if you would like to, and you could go right here and you could start online presentations or invite to edit. Um, and then right here is, whoops. Just clicked OK to get rid of that. Sometimes that happens if you click on the screen, it wants to start typing text. So if you click on there and, and you just click OK, you can get that to go away pretty quickly. Um, and then right here on this on the, is the Save button. And you can actually uh, save your changes at any time you want. It does auto save on occasion for you. And I don't know what the interval is. But I would go ahead and every once in a while just click Save just to make sure you're, you're in good shape there. Here's the Undo tab if you want to undo something or redo it. And again, that's uh, control Z is to, to undo if you didn't know, control Y to redo. And, uh, and then you're, there's your save, which is control S. Over here in the, the left-hand side is where you pretty much do all of your work for Prezi. And um, we already have a frame up here. What I'm gonna do is click on this frame. And as I click on this frame, something called the zebra wheel pops up. And that is the um, basic interactivity tool for every frame. So if I just left click and drag down here in this uh, zebra wheel, you can see I can rotate my Prezi any way I'd like. Okay, And I'm going to let it go ahead and stop there. I can also move it around by grabbing this hand, picking up and dragging it. I can also zoom in and out. I, and actually, what I'm doing is I'm, create, I'm actually making this bigger and smaller. I'm not zooming in and out on the screen like I was over here. Okay, the, the, the screen would stay the same, and actually I would be increasing or decreasing the size of this frame right here. Okay. Then this little pencil tool, if you click that, will allow you to go ahead and edit the text in here. That's one way to do it. Um, so you can click in here and you can start typing um, whatever you'd like to edit inside your frame. So I would maybe just go ahead and start typing some basic text. And then I have three different options here based on the, th the theme that I've picked. And I'll show you in a little bit how to change your themes. But I can apply the different style of text that I would like. You know, that's your basic heading text, I believe, for this. Um, and then here's a subtitle. And then here is your 
body style text and they, that's what they recommend you can do whatever you want with it so up here is your your colors that you want to change and you have to do have to highlight first before you can change the colors so I can do that I, whoops back over here I can change my colors that way just by just by highlighting and clicking on the color uh, menu I can also um, I can indent or decrease and I can also add bullets or I can delete Z to, uh oh, I lost it. Type it one more time. Show you this again. Okay, and then over here I have my um, that's my the the bullets, or you can add alignment to your text. You can uh, left align, center align, right align, or justify. And then right here is your little hand that you can move around inside your frame. So I'll just click OK, and we'll keep that basic text, and we'll just put it right up here on the top of our frame. Okay. Now, over here on the left-hand side is the, like I said, the basic editing function of Prezi. And so let's go ahead and just move this. And see, see, I'm just left-clicking, dragging, and moving this screen out of the way to work on a different area. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, insert a new frame. So we're going to click Frame, and we have our choice of a bracket frame, a circle frame, or a rectangle frame. You can also, and, and what that'll do is, let me just show you. I'll click the circle, and I'll come over here and drag love my left mouse clicking and just dragging and I can make my circle and that's that's my content area for this particular frame I can also create a hidden frame and the hidden frame allows you to put text in here but there actually won't you won't be able to see any outlines when you um, create a hidden frame okay so I'm just gonna go and just what I did there to get rid of that is I just left clicked on the frame and hit the trash can and it takes it away okay so um, so I have my my frame here that I created is going to be a circle, and now I could click anywhere inside of here. Remember to add text. So, um, hello, and now I've got my text. Here are the choices. Here are all those uh, editing options I just showed you a second ago. So I can click OK, and now I can just left click and drag this around. And notice, did you see that little dotted line that popped up? The little dashed line. That'll just allow you to um, see where the center is. So if you want to, um, you know, space something right in the center. Um, it'll show you those lines, and those lines will pop up on occasion. There's the midpoint of our circle as well um, for both for both functions. Okay, so that's how you insert a frame. Once I have a frame set, then I have lots of options. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is up here in my um, my editing area. But I'm going to click Insert, and in Insert I have one, two, three, four, five different things I can insert. I can insert shapes. And shapes you can use inside of your frame, or you can use them as a transition point to go from one frame to the next. Like, for instance, I could pick this arrow, and I could pull this arrow out. And let's say I wanted to go into my, my next frame, and I wanted it to go this way. And I wanted that, the, tr the presentation to transition that way. So I can use arrows to, to do that. Um, I can use basic line, a line tool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. As I make each one of these, I have a rectangle tool. A circle tool and a triangle tool, and then you have a basic um, pencil tool and, and a highlighter tool. Okay, and so the highlighter tool just allows you to, if you wanted to highlight something, you can do it. Okay, I just hit, I hit Control Z there to get rid of that, or I can use a, a pencil tool and just, if I want to sign my name here, okay, something like that, and, um, and click on it again and hit the trash can button, and I can get rid of it that way. So those are basic shapes and how you add shapes um, into your into your Prezi. The next thing is adding an image. Okay, And what it's going to let you do is one of two ways. and You can add uh, five types of images. You can add a JPEG, a PNG, a GIF, a PDF, or an SWF, which is a shockwave flash file. It's actually an animation. That's kind of neat that you can add that. Um, but you can select them from your computer by clicking Select Files and just going and finding an image. Okay, Let me go, just get a random picture here. You guys know I'm a pretty big fan of my daughter Ella, so I'll just go ahead and grab a picture of her, and I could put this on here if I would like. And then I notice I left clicked on it, and now I can go ahead and decrease the size, and I can rotate it and do all that kind of crazy stuff that I was showing you before. Okay. Um, all right. I can also go over here to insert, and I could insert a YouTube. I'm sorry. There's one other way I want to show you to insert an image. I did. I forgot this. Um, right here, you can add a URL. Or a website from, or an image that has a website address. So let's go ahead and find one of those. Let's go up here and search an image of football. 
and I'm going to go ahead and click on images in Google and just find one of these images and let's go ahead and go with this football right here and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say copy image URL and I'm going to go back into my Prezi okay. click in here and I'm going to paste my URL um, you can do that by clicking control V or just right clicking and pasting and you can see there's a really long address in there um, let's go ahead and um, search what it's going to do, it's going to search the internet and, and process this media. On occasion, I have ran into a problem here and there with an image. Um, hopefully this is not going to be one of them. But on occasion, I have run into images that will not work on Prezi for whatever reason. I don't know if it's a, a licensing issue or not. And it looks like it's possible this image might be one. So let's just go over here and let's pick another image. Let's get this Wilson football here. And I'll go copy image URL back to Prezi and I'm gonna go insert image and I'm gonna try this right here I'm gonna uncheck this box that says show only images pre-licensed for use in Pre Prezi maybe that image wasn't licensed for Prezi so I'm gonna paste this and let's see if we can let's try let's give it one more shot and see what happens here then you guys will have to trust me that it works so while that while these images are, are downloading over here um, I got to be honest with you. I very rarely have this happen where the images don't load. It's possible, possible an internet connection speed problem here at my house, or just um, maybe I ran into two that it doesn't that it didn't like. So, um, so hopefully those will those will actually work. Um, like I said, I, that's the first time I've ever ran into the to this issue, but it does happen on occasion. Um, okay. So the third the third thing you can do is you can insert a YouTube video, and hopefully we won't have any issues with that. So the way you would do that is you'd go over here to YouTube. And as you guys remember, the, the images thing, it does work. Um, here, here would be a way of getting a way to get around this if you couldn't get it to download like this, by the way. Um, I could go to this football image over here. Just, I just thought of this as we were, as I was thinking about this. So I would go, um, let's see. I could right click on here and save the image as on my, on my computer somewhere. So I'm going to just put it as football saved okay and then now if I come over to my Prezi and I go to insert image I can select that file now that I just put on here so that's that's kind of a way around the downloading piece from the internet see there's my image now at work so that's a way around it um, if you want would like to try to, to, to do it that way so I've got two different images in here now and you can see there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a box around here there's really not any way to edit the picture so that um, that you can crop that out other without actually taking part of the football out. So you just kind of one of those things you got to deal with unless you're um, good at using Photoshop to edit photos. Okay, let me go back to showing you how to insert a YouTube video. Um, I'm going to go over to YouTube. I'm going to pick this Nature Sound 9, the most relaxing video, one of the first things that popped up. And I'm going to go ahead and just right or uh, Control C. I'm going to highlight and Control C, which copies. And that's going to go ahead and copy that URL for us. I'm going to move over here to Prezi now and click on YouTube. And I'm going to go ahead and paste my my uh, address in there and click Insert. Okay, and right away, look at that. That was pretty cool. It inserted it right away. So now I have a video um, that I could put right inside of this frame if I want to. And that kind of if you kind of you can kind of guide the screen by pressing towards the top there. And so I have a video now, and if I want to go ahead and play that. Um, whoops! Actually, I can't play it once I'm in here in the editing mode. I can do it later once I'm viewing it. But as of right now, you can just place it around in here. So, so that's how you insert a video. Um, another thing, which is pretty cool and uh, a, a nice function of Prezi, is right over here you have an Insert Drawings and Diagrams tab, and there's a lot of choices actually that you can use that are that are kind of neat. And you know, if you're into, um, you know, if you wanted a flow chart for business or a pyramid or you wanted to create something cool or you know for our cloud class we could click one of these clouds so let's go ahead and click cloud and and it got it kind of went and put this in here for us now so I'm gonna go ahead and click this check mark okay and now it's gonna let me go ahead and work on this and so I can click in here and I can do different things with this cloud um, you know I can let's say I didn't like the size of that how that 
flat. I can just kind of make it a little more skinny there if I wanted to. And but you can see you can work with this thing and, and edit in here as well. Okay, I can go in here and edit the titles, um, and I can edit the, the body style just like I did earlier. So that is a neat little function of this by just going again insert and inserting your um, drawings and diagrams. Okay, the other piece. Um, is right here you can insert a whole file so I could go in here and actually pick a PDF document um, let's go ahead and find one let me go on my desktop pull up a PDF document that I would let's here's a uh, let's go with this one right here I click open okay, and it's gonna take a second to go ahead and download this this won't give us any problems though because it is on my computer and I don't you know I, I own I basically don't have to ask permission for it. So it just takes a second to process it, and we should see it pop up here, no problem, in just a second. Okay. I'll just kind of move this over to the side here while we are working. Every once in a while, like I said, I'll go up here and just click Save, and uh, which is always just a good idea to save things. I have a feeling it's possible that my, so my Internet speed may not be great. Uh-oh, it looks like it's actually going to start happening. Something's happening here. Yeah, you, every once in a while I would come up here and, and just click save to make sure that you're you're saving your work. Okay. Um, one of the last things I'm going to show you is, the, is paths. So before we get to that, and while this is processing over here, as you can see, we're getting closer. Um, I'm going to click on colors and fonts. Okay. And while this, I'm just going to move this over here a little bit. And while this is processing, we'll keep our. I'm going to move it over to where we can see it while we're working on something else. kind of pick the long way what you can do is just kind of zoom out if you want to kind of get to your your other slides and, and see what's going on so I'm going to put it right up here so we can see it when it's ready okay all right and um, let me zoom in just a hair okay so what I'm going to do is show you how to change the overall format of your presentation so the way you do that is if you go to colors and fonts okay you have a set of themes that are already pre-selected and if you guys just saw this our our document just now finished um, downloading so it's a PDF file it's not huge but for some reason it took a little longer than normal now again I can click here and zoom in if I would like okay or zoom back out um, and remember that changes the size of your document where this over here zooms in on your screen okay so that's just a little bit of a difference so that's how you um, insert a, a, a file though okay back to our formatting so you have a number of different formatting options here and if I just click like this midnight theme, it's going to just go ahead and take over your screen and, and show you what it's what it looks like. Or let's say I wanted this Chinese uh, text theme, whatever that's called, or a fresh theme. Okay. And as we zoom out, let me zoom out a little bit. I can show you, show you it's kind of changing the whole look and feel of our our presentation. Let's go with the industrial theme now. Okay. And you can see it just kind of does its thing make these changes and this is what they call the executive theme coming up next here and then here's the, the loud theme since I'm loud I'm gonna go with the loud theme I don't really like that because of what it does with the edges here so let's go back to industrial industrial is kind of cool plus it's Pittsburgh Steelers colors we, you guys all know I like the Pittsburgh Steelers so we'll go with the industrial theme um, now that is an easy way to do it if you would like to just change the theme of your Prezi. The other thing you can do is if you like to get a little bit more technical and you have some of the, some you have confidence when you're working with technology, if you click up here on the theme wizard, this will let you um, basically dictate to the uh, Prezi what colors you would like. Okay, so you can say, well, on the background, I'd really like to have this yellow background. Okay, and so you're gonna, it'll kind of show you a preview up here what it's going to look like. All right. You can also, if you want a logo, you can add a logo here um, by clicking Show Logo, and then you can replace that logo as well. Okay. Um, this wizard, if I click Next, will take me through each of these steps. This will allow me now to change the font and colors of, of um, all these, you know, the Title One, Title Two, and the body. Okay. So, and I can also change the font by clicking on here. Okay. So I can click that. And notice that up here it changed it to this font. And watch this. Watch this up here as I click another font. I'll change it to this railway thin. And it changes it to that. So you can really play with those things, and you can also change the colors right here too, so that they're a little bit easier to read. Okay. And I'll come over here to this one. I'll say let's change this, and so it changes title too. I kind of like how that looks, so we'll leave it. And then the body of the text. Let's make it 
this uh, font in and we'll make it um, that's what black looks like that's a little easier to read so we'll keep it that way and then finally the last one will change the color of your circle frame your bracket and rectangle frame your marker and your arrows and lines okay so you can do a lot of your editing in here so let's say for this one I wanted this guy really wanted to go you know big time Pittsburgh Steeler here so um, that is not wanting me to do that for some reason yeah and some of the colors I guess it just says no <laughs> yeah, I guess it worked so it kind of changes it a little bit okay but you can see as you play around with these what it does to some of these different things okay so when you're done and you get it to where you want it to look you click done it's gonna do its little processing here and I don't know if you guys can see that on your end but my mouse is really shaking like crazy there we go um, and again, I'm going to click OK to get rid of that little guy. Okay, so let me just zoom out. We haven't created a really neat looking Prezi or anything, but you can see I've, I've given you some examples on how this thing is supposed to work. And the next thing we want to do is we want to set the paths of our Prezi. So let's say I want to move this whole slide because I, let's say I wanted to start here, go here, and then end up with this thing. I can just drag this thing right over here. And notice I just all I did to do that was I clicked the the exterior and the frame and I just drug the hand and it'll drag everything around with you if I if I just do this and I just drag if I just click the frame itself and try to drag it it stretches it out so you have to click it and then drag the hand in order to move that oops that did usually it works no problem and uh, you guys are there we go and so it just kind of drags and takes that all along okay um, let me get these out of the way and I'll make this one of our last slides I'm sorry frames. I keep going back to my little PowerPoint terminology. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four areas. These are actually three frames and then we have an area that we don't have a frame around which I'm just going to leave as is. And I'm going to show you now how to create your Prezi using the paths. Okay, So I'm going to click on path and right now it's it actually did start us. Um, down here is going to show you your different frames and what the what they're gonna the views are gonna look like when you um, actually add a, a frame okay so right now we're starting right here all right we it, basically what I want to do is I'm gonna change the order of our path later but to, to add uh, once you're in path once once if you want to add different frames to your path all you need to do is click on the frames like let's say I want it to go here next and then I want it to go over here third then I want it to go here fourth and then here fifth notice the document it wants to see the whole document it won't show you just the area I would have to put a frame there to look at the whole area and then let's say that lastly I wanted to show this whole thing okay so what I would do to show the whole thing because I can't just click you know right here to show it I would click capture view capture view would give us kind of that whole thing um, now, let's say I didn't like the order of these paths down here, okay? I can drag this path and move it, and I can switch them around that way if I want to. And I can say, ah, let's move this one over here, and then, you know, and that's, let's say that's the way I wanted the, the paths to be, okay? Um, all right, so that is basically how you go through and arrange your paths, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and save this one more time, and I'm going to click Exit. Okay, so it takes me back to this very first screen now um, for my presentation, and you have total control over when you're doing your presentation. This is this is actually now the presentation screen. The way you'll know that is because you have a left and right arrow that's going to take you through the, the presentation, so you can click on each arrow now, okay, to take you through each frame. All right, um, what you also have here is if you click more, it'll auto play it if you would like or full screen it if you would like. So you could click full screen and this is how you can see the okay. And if you push your up arrow, you can zoom in and your down arrow will zoom out to different parts of your presentation. Okay, which is kind of nice. Um, over here on more, okay, just again that's the same thing we just saw. So now to get back to um, our original screen here, I just put I pressed escape, E S C in the top left hand uh, corner of your keyboard. Um, I promised earlier that there was a way to make things private, to, to make it public, 
or to, to allow to, to public and allow copies. If you click um, public, then it will go into the explore area. And if you click public and allow copy, others can actually save it and use it. If you click private, only those that you invite will be able to view this Prezi. So that's important that you understand the differences here between all of these Prezi's. Okay. So we want to keep. I'm going to keep it private for now, and then because it's kind of messy, and I don't want to take up Prezi's servers with a silly presentation. Down here, all right, you have some some options. Okay. Um, we we'll go right here. Down here, you have an option to go back in and edit your Prezi. So I can click Edit. It's going to take me right back in to, to where we were before. Okay, and then I'm just going to click Exit to get right back out. All right. You also have Edit Together, which is neat. If you wanted uh, your students or somebody in your organization to collaborate on one, okay, they could share editing privileges with this right here in one of two ways. You could either copy this address, stick that into an email, and email it to another person, and they would be able to edit it. You could also just click right here, and you could send an email this way, allowing a person to edit it this way. So I could just put, you know, Kimball B, if I wanted Betty Kimball to, um, to edit this. And then go ahead and put a note here, and I would click send email, and she would be good to go. If I didn't want them to be able to edit it, but I did want them to see it, I could click view, and I could go ahead and copy this and send it out in an email, or I could just click this to go ahead and um, email it directly to them, just like we did before. I could also click embed if I have a website, or if I wanted to put this on a on my WordPress account, I can embed it right here in my Word's, WordPress account as well. Okay, so that's just a basically how you do that. Um, edit together showed us basically the view together button. It already showed it to us. Okay, so by just copying and pasting this um, this Prezi address and putting it into an email, I can go ahead and share this with somebody so they can view it. Now this is important. We talked about this at our very first presentation. Prezi is an online program, which you you know it's a cloud-based program, which you do need to be online for. However, there is an exception. If you click download, okay. What it's going to say is you can export to a portable Prezi or you can download for Prezi desktop. Now, we currently are not a Prezi desktop customer because remember that was $60 a year, but you can export to a portable Prezi. And I'm just going to go ahead and click download. It's packaging it for us right now. It's creating a downloadable Prezi. Your downloadable Prezi has been created. Please click this link to download. So I'll click it. And notice right over here, in the bottom part of my screen it put what's called a zip file and as soon as it's done here it's got a few seconds left it's got 17 second le 17 seconds left to download we will actually unzip this zip file and I will show you how you can use this Prezi and you could even put it on a flash drive if you would like to take with you somewhere um, which is nice because you may not always have access to the internet everywhere you go to present so this is a great backup plan um, to, and to have your, I, you know, I would go ahead and just download all your Prezi's anyways, so you, so you always have them. But okay, so now that this is done downloading, I'm going to double click this, and here's my Prezi, okay? So what I need to do, though, anytime you use a zip file, if you're not aware of this, you have to extract the files. So I'm going to click this, and click extract all files, and click extract, and it's going to work its magic, and now I have my, my Prezi downloaded to my downloads file on my computer. So if I double click it, okay, I see a couple different things. The thing that you would use or click if you were going to show this Prezi now offline is Prezi.exe and you could change the name of this if you would like. But we can just double click it and we can say run and now I have over here in a flash player on my computer this Prezi that I downloaded. So I can go through and show the Prezi and I can even make it full screen if I wanted to. Um, so that's kind of a neat feature that Prezi allows you to do. And just, I just hit escape basically to get back out of that. Okay, So that is um, a pretty cool little feature of Prezi that a lot of people don't know about. Um, and then finally, there's a save and copy mode. If you wanted just to save and copy this um, for to another, like if you wanted to duplicate basically a presentation, there you have your duplicate that just you copied right there. And then um, the very last thing is if you wanted to delete it. Okay, you can just click delete right here. Um, to delete this Prezi when you're done with it. Okay. Um,
now, let's see, I've sh we've learned how to save it, to exit, we've learned how to view it in full screen, we know how to share it with others. Okay, something that some of you may want to know, you, know, you, just, you just have to have all the information. So these three tabs at the top, obviously we've been here in your Prezi's and been working on one of our Prezi's for most of the time, but if you click this Learn tab, if you really want to take your Prezi learning to the next level, you can go in here and you can do that in here. Okay. There's a lot of information that you would would like to use. Okay. Um, there's also something called presifying your slides. So what I mean by presifying, and there's a little uh, tab right here, that you, a little presentation you can watch. And presifying means basically taking all your PowerPoint or keynote slides you've created and turning them into a Prezi. And it's a, it's, a, it's a several step process, but if it's something you would like to do, like I've done this with a lot of my presentations because I had a lot of them saved in, in uh, PowerPoint. So if, I, if that's something you would like to do, I would recommend coming in here and presifying some of your PowerPoint slides. Certainly ask me if you have any questions or anything that you would like to know about that. Um, but again, a lot of the, these three tabs up here will take you through a lot of the information we just learned but will you know, be a place where you could go to reinforce that learning if you wanted to, uh, to learn more in the future. So with that said, I think we have hit all of our objectives today. Um, now it is your turn, and you're going to go ahead now and create a, um, a Prezi of your own. Okay? And the Prezi of your own is going to be for your class. And if I come over here to the dacccloud.wordpress.com, our class website, and if I look at the class syllabus, Okay. I noticed that my um, second project is going to be to create a, a Prezi for your class. Okay. And so you are going to create anything you would like for your class um, to, to present to your class or uh, even possibly in your organization. And when you're done, I would like for you to share your Prezi URL um, with me at galliganj at delawareareacc.org. And once you do that, I will give you credit for, for doing that presentation. So. Unless you have any other questions, um, please feel free to contact me. You guys know my information, and I will leave it up here just in case. Um, but my cell phone is there, my email address is there, and there is our class uh, WordPress account. So I will let you go ahead and presify the world now and uh, take over your presentations by creating a, a cool uh, presentation that lets you pre your presentation zoom. So thanks so much for listening. I appreciate it. Have a great day.